New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at a tube and pipe bender. This particular kit was sent to me by Viver, and I wanna share it with you guys. Now, something like this kit would be used in the HVAC or maybe even the refrigeration industry. This would be perfect for bending aluminum and copper tubing from one quarter inch all the way up to seven eighths of an inch. Now, the first thing I noticed right off the bat is it is in a very nice hard shell plastic case. And when you open the lid, everything presents itself really nice and everything has its own home inside the box. You're not gonna lose those parts and pieces. There are seven different aluminum alloy dies and all of those dies associate with the equivalent crossbar. Both the dies and the crossbars are marked very clearly. There is a hand deburring tool tucked up here in the lid. There is also an any and an outer deburring tool tucked over here in the top right corner of the box. Also included is a pipe cutter and there are some attachments to do some reverse bending. We'll talk about that in a second. The device itself is of the ratcheting kind and that is actually really good because basically a lot of movement in the handle means a little bit of movement back here and every time you squeeze the handle, it resets so you can do it again. This gives you a lot of leverage to bend larger tube and pipe. And if you haven't used one of these, it's actually really simple. You're gonna grab the die that you need. And in our case, we're gonna bend some half inch tubing. So I'm gonna grab the half inch die. The die just snaps in place just like that. Then you're gonna grab the corresponding crossbar and you're going to put it in place by screwing the thumb screw on the back of the device. With the pipe in place, just start squeezing the handle. Now we're gonna bend this pipe into about a 90. Then we're gonna take a look at it and see if it, there's any crushing going on with the tubing itself. And I think we're pretty close to a 90 right there. Once we've created our bend, we're gonna pull down on the handle. That'll allow this whole thing to relax. Then we're gonna pull the tube out of the die and we're gonna take a look at it and see how well it did. Now we've been a little bit over 90, but not much. And you can see there's no kinking in the tubing at all. It did a very good job. Now, sometimes you find yourself in a tight situation where you really need kind of a reverse bend. You need the tool to work backwards because of space restrictions. Maybe the pipe is affixed or coming out of a block wall and there's not a lot of space to work in. This tool has some attachments to allow you to do a reverse bend. I'm gonna set that up and show you what that looks like. Now with the tool set up, what you can see is the die stays still and now the crossbar is what is actually going to move and you can see how in some tight situations this might actually bail you out it'll make the bend and you don't have to have a lot of room from here to wherever you're making that bend at the included tubing and pipe cutter does really well and the handheld deburring tool feels nice and sharp and as another option you always have the any and the Audi. All of these tools work very well. I gotta admit, I'm really impressed with this tool. Everything is built in a very robust way. It feels very good. The quality of everything is really nice. I'm very happy to have this to my collection of tools. And if I find any issues with this in the future, I will add it to a pinned comment down below. If you're interested in purchasing this tool, I will also put that in the description down below and also in a pinned comment. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos and at the very least, you might be entertained.